Hey, open up. It's me, Rufus. Uh-oh, that must be me from the past. I should open up. Otherwise, I'll screw up causality. Yes? Uh, yoo-hoo, can I come in for a moment? That won't work. You can use the portal soon, but first, you have to do something for me. Here. What's this? Another remote? Yes, it's Liebold's. It seems to be an older model, but hey, I know how to use a remote. Yeah, of course you do. Liebold is the fat one, right? I'm only asking because I haven't seen an implant. You can do it. When you're finished, you can use the portal. Then I'll explain everything. Huh? What portal? Trust me, and not a word to Yanosh. Whew, good thing I have a perfect memory. One little mistake, and I'd have an invalid timeline. But what happens next? Hmm. Huh. One shouldn't live in the past anyway. Well then, let's do it. Cool. Now what? There you are at last. What took you so long? Just because you're from the past doesn't mean there's no need to hurry. Huh? What's going on here? Is that you, Cletus? Don't be silly. I'm your future self, of course. These portals are space-time curvatures. And this is the future. Da, 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 da. They, they call, call him Rufus. Hey, that's my jingle. Not anymore. I'm more up-to-date, wiser, and way cooler than you. Is that so? I want proof. All right. Anything to make you shut up. A simple test will show that you're nothing but a puffed up loudmouth. Or you. Exactly. So, what am I thinking of right now? No, no, wait, wait. I remember now. You're thinking of... Zeeble Zooble. Ha! Missed it by a mile, you clown. Zeeble Zooble. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. You're an imposter. I knew that right away. No, I'm not. I had to say that, so I wouldn't create a time paradox. Yeah, yeah, right. Just admit that I won. Why? Why? What were you thinking of? If it wasn't Zeeble Zooble, well, actually, it was... Uh... <clears throat> hey, <laughs> future me, old pal. There you are. How's that for a surprise? I told you so. Can we finally get going now? You need to go in there and rescue Gold. So she's really in there? Is she all right? Don't panic. Wink and Nod have been put out of action. What? You overwhelmed them both all by yourself? That was nothing. Looks like you're really me after all. How did you pull that off? Ah, you'll, you'll soon figure it out yourself. Meanwhile, I'm going to take care of the rebels. Whoa. Is that really a gun? No, it's a banana peeler. Of course it's a gun. Can I try it? Not now. You're headed to the lab. You need to free Goal, remember? Oh, well, I'll go rescue Goal then. I'm sure I'll do it way cooler than you did, and she'll end up being much freer than she did with you. Please do it just as cool as I did, or I'm going to dissolve. And that is really painful, you know? <laughs> Me like. Rufus! Yeah, yeah, I know. Spoil sport. But afterwards, I'll get the gun, right? Yes, sure! <clears throat> Through the portal? Yeah, okay. And hurry! The clock's about to strike the hour here, and then the rebels will storm the office. All right. What a hero. I'm going to be someone. Okay, what a moron. Who does he think he is? But now back to the mission at hand. The clock could strike the hour at any moment now, and then I'll be ready. <laughs> All I need now is a little patience, and nobody beats me at that. Patience. Uh-oh, it's about time. The clock may strike the hour at any moment now. Any moment. Now, that's enough. Strike, will ya? Oh, come on, strike! Ouch. Did you hear that? The clock is striking with error. And right on the spot. It's time for your grand entrance, Charlotte. The voice really has to trick questions. Usually it's you who needs to collect people's shoes. But usually it's only about his fetches a fresh bag of chips. 
don't try to make excuses one for all, and today, the one is you. Rufus, what are you doing here? There's been a change of plan. Goal is going to hang on to the Ascension Code, turning against the Resistance. Whose side are you on then? Always on the winning side. Yeah, well, sometimes. What the... It's jammed? Ah, tough luck! Or not. Rufus? Haha, <laughs> very good. You made it on your own. Come with me. It's not over yet. Uh, wait a second. But, Goal, we haven't got time now for, for that kind of thing. I mean, shouldn't we wait until you're, you know, back in shape? Oh well, why not? You know, you really need to shave. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I did it! See? I told you I could! Doc, why are you still trussed up? Lady Gore was supposed to untie you. But she didn't. She escaped to the future through the portal. She did what? Uh, uh, no problem. Spunky Gold is still outside, in Leibold's body. She'll make Lady Gold see reason. That wasn't Spunky Gold. That was a cleaning cartridge for my video recorder. The other two goals are still in the machine. Leibold doesn't even have an implant. But, but, but the remote! Oh, oh my. That means I just... Rufus! What have you done to Gorleth and to Liebold? He seems to be quite distressed. Uh, a case of mistaken identity. I... Hey! Goal! What's this all about? I am sorry, Rufus. I just have to make one more change to your plan, I'm afraid. What? Huh? Change my plan? Yes. Once again, it's complicated, just like everything that involves you. You cause nothing but chaos. But I'm not made for that. I can no longer stay with you. Oh, come on. What brought this on? Open up! Don't even try. The door is bolted. I need a little head start if I want to find Cletus. Cletus? But what are you talking about? We were going to go to Elysium together. Save the world and all that. It just doesn't work that way, Rufus. You can't let everybody down and still be the hero. That's impossible. Hey, impossible is my middle name. You said it. It appeals to you, doesn't it? You always want what's impossible, and therefore you will never be content. You can't come to Elysium, Rufus, because you carry Deponia within you. Farewell, trash baby. But wait a sec! But Cletus is a snotty jerk! Cletus is not a bad person, Rufus. At least no worse than I am. And certainly no worse than you. I'm a thousand times better than that pretty boy. At least you would like to be. I forgave you for splitting my mind, for lying to me, for repeatedly putting me in harm's way. And I forgave Cletus for trying to erase my memory. Now you need to forgive me. But what about your surgery? We need to put you back together again. What for? So I will be flooded with doubt again? No thanks, Rufus. But we were going to save the world together. That may be true for Spunky Gold and Baby Gold, but I am neither as idealistic nor as adventurous as they are. I just want to go home before it's too late. But I want to go to Elysium with you. Do you really want to do that? I know you've got something to prove. Because you grew up in the garbage. Because nobody ever believed in you. But would you really be happy if you achieved your goal? No more adventures? No more plans? I don't think so. But where's the problem? Why can't we save Deponia and still go to Elysium together? Because it is mutually exclusive, Rufus. But it isn't. I know I can do it. This is about what you don't know. Have you ever asked yourself why they want to blow up Deponia? 
What's that got to do with anything? Everything, really. Elysium isn't the paradise you think it is. It is just a vessel, a starship, designed to leave Deponia once and for all, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But Utopia is far away. And there is only one possibility of generating enough energy to catapult Elysium there. The destruction of Deponia. What was that? Elysium is... what? A... Uh, a starship? Now do you finally understand? If Deponia is not blown up, then Elysium will soon fall back to the planet. We cannot live forever without a home planet. But Deponia is no place to live. We both know that. So, Elysium is a starship? You've got it! Our fathers constructed Elysium so Deponia could be evacuated, so that we can start over on Utopia, the nearest inhabitable planet. But there was only room for a lucky few. They couldn't take everyone. Well, what's so great about this Utopia? The grass is fresh and green. The sky is blue. The water runs clear. In other words, it is not Deponia. Why is this all happening now? Elysium wasn't designed to float in the atmosphere forever. It took the Organon decades to build the required blast towers. They are distributed all over the planet. And now, everything's ready. Ulysses people stuck to their schedule. Elysium needs to be launched now, or it's going to fall back onto the planet. What if the Council of Elders knew that Deponia was inhabited? I don't know. Part of me always believed they would stop the blast then, but that was starry-eyed gold. Okay. I think I understand now, but... But what? But I still don't get it! Is it really that hard to understand? It wouldn't be if you could explain it better. Okay. I think I understand now, but... But what? But I still don't get it! Is it really that hard to understand? It wouldn't be if you could explain it better! Okay, I think I understand now, but... But what? But there must be a way! There are even two ways. One leads to Elysium, and from there, onto Utopia. The other one ends here on Deponia, if we survive, that is. I have made my decision, Rufus. Now, it's up to you. Take me with you to Utopia, then. And allow them to destroy Deponia. You don't really want that, Rufus. There is too much good in you. Few people see that. You could never be so ruthless. And if you could, how would you be any different from Cletus? Uh, who cares about Deponia? Just as long as I'm with you! I don't believe you mean that. Then let us save Deponia together! But I've already explained! Saving Deponia would mean the end of Elysium! It would end up as just another mound of trash on this garbage dump of a planet! But I can't live like this! I thought you would be able to relate to that, Rufus! It's gonna be a bit of work. So what? I've made my mind up, Rufus. I'm sorry. There has to be a way to accomplish both! Trust me, I can fix everything! Just like you managed to fix me! All I want is a second chance! You had your chance, Rufus. Deponia had its chance. Sometimes things are actually broken beyond repair. You can keep the other two cartridges. They contain nothing but doubts and silly ideals. I can't use those where I'm bound. I've got to hurry! Donna Submersible awaits. If I don't make it to Porta Fisco with Cletus by the day after tomorrow, it will be too late. Good luck, Rufus. But... <sighs> what a woman. Are you out of your mind? She's going to kill us all. I think she's fascinating. Most importantly, she appears to be the part that knows the Ascension codes. We must stop her somehow. But we're locked in. First, untie me. And then we'll think of something. There is always a way. Yeah, like you need to tell me that. <laughs>